Today we're going to look at graphing equations without a t-table. The first thing we need to know is that our equation is actually in slope-intercept form. We know an equation is in slope-intercept form if y is by itself. Once y is by itself, we know that whatever number is multiplying the x, that's the slope. That tells us how steep the line is. Remember, a positive slope goes in this direction and a negative slope goes that direction. The other thing we need to know is that whatever adds or subtracts the equation is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. Pause the movie now, copy this slope-intercept form into your notes, and make sure that you identify the slope and the y-intercept in that equation. Now that you have this written in your notes, let's talk about what the y-intercept is, because it's very important for what we're going to be doing. The y-intercept, again, is where your line will cross this y-axis. Well, what does that mean? If I was adding 2 in this equation, that means that the slope-intercept is a positive 2, which means that this line would cross right there at positive 2. The line might go this way, this way, that way. We're not sure yet, but what we are sure of is that the line will cross right here at positive 2. Well, what if it was a minus? What if instead of plus 2, it was a minus 3? Again, we look to the y-axis, look for the negative 3, 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis, and then we know that whatever this line is, it will cross here at negative 3. It could be a line with a positive slope like this, a negative slope like this. It could be a zero slope like this. Whatever the slope is, we know that that line will cross at negative 3. So let's see how we're going to use that. We're going to follow these steps to graphing an equation without a t-table. The first step is to place a point on the y-intercept. That's what I just showed you how to do. This is where the line will cross the y-axis. Number two, we're going to follow the rules for rise over run to continue the points. So we're going to follow the slope to find where our next points will be. At this point, I'd like you to pause the movie and copy these notes onto your paper so that you know the steps for graphing an equation. Great. Now that you have the steps, let's use them. Without using a t-table, graph the equation y equals 3x minus 2. All right, well, let's follow the steps. The first step says to place a point on the y-intercept. This is where the line will cross the y-axis. So if I look at my y-intercept, I see that it is negative 2. Identify, I identify negative 2 on the y-axis. So I know that that is where my line is going to cross. Now I'm going to look at the slope. The slope is the number that is multiplying the x. In this case, it's 3. We know that slope is written as rise over run. We practice that with our slope triangles. Well, I know I have 3, but I don't know what's on the bottom. We know that any whole number can always be written as a number over 1. So this is going to be a rise of 3 and a run of 1. 
This is very easy. I now start at my point and I rise three. One, two, three. And I run one. One. I'm going to put my next point there. I'm going to do this one more time. Rise three. One, two, three. And run one. Run one. I now have three points to my line and I will want to use my ruler to draw a nice straight line through those three points. I now have graphed the equation y equals 3x oops, I've now graphed the equation y equals 3x minus 2 without using the t-table. All I did was find the y-intercept at negative 2 and then follow my slope, th rise 3, run 1, rise 3, run 1, to find the next points for the line. Let's try one on your own and then check the answers with Miss Garcia. I'd like for you to pause the movie, look at the equation 2 thirds x plus 5, Try to graph this equation without a t-table and then play the movie again to check your answer. Let's see how you did. First, you should have identified plus 5 as your y-intercept. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, my slope is 2 thirds x. This one's going to be a little tricky because it's going to actually go off the graph. 2 is the rise, 3 is the run. So from this point I'm going to rise 2 and run 3. 1, 2, 3. That's my next point. Rise 2 and run three. Now that I have those three points, I use my ruler and draw a line between those points. And my points are a little off because I ran out of space on my graph paper. Again, we identify the y-intercept we identify the y-intercept that the equation tells us and then follow the rise over run for the number in front of x. Now, I'd like for you to try this one for class tomorrow. Follow the steps, find the y-intercept, use the rise over run, and we'll check it in class tomorrow.